Hey peeps, so I have a really big journal to share with you today. It is a three ring binder. I have been hoarding this in my stash. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, if I was going to do anything with it. Um, and I decided to just go for it. So let me just say, I'm totally inspired by um, Diane at Shawcraft One and Gina from The Rebookery. Um, yeah, that's where I always get my inspiration from when it comes to the binders, especially. So, um, I have a couple of disclaimers, but first there's a backstory behind, um, the name of this journal. I named it True Colors. Um, so it'll be listed as True Color, uh, Binder or something like that. Um, so, as I was creating this, it, I made it really bright and colorful, and the song True Colors by Cindy Lauper was constantly in my head. Um, that song has a whole lot of meaning, but I won't go into all that, because, you know, I'll get emotional and nobody needs that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what I was thinking about when I um, was creating this, and this was a true labor of love. I have an injury from it. <laughs> I pinched my hand right here. Um, yeah, that happened. So I have that mark. I don't know if it's ever going to go away, but that's my injury from this binder. So anyway, let's get started. So um, I recycle my old jeans and I encourage my friends <laughs> to recycle them for me. Um, mainly, um, I like pockets. So I have asked my friend Carmen to um, save her pockets when she gets rid of her jeans. And she'll, she so she sent me a huge, when she came over, she bought me a huge bag of her jean pockets. Um, and her pocket was supposed to be on the cover, but it didn't make the cut for the cover. Because I wanted to use um, some denim on the spine and her jean pocket didn't match my my leg uh piece here I guess um from my jeans so I used my jean pocket and um a piece of the leg of my jean I only had um one of these I must have used the other one for something else but um I do have Carmen's in the back so I'll show you later so what I did all right so I covered well first I just sewed it because I wasn't sure um if you don't know what this is, it was a 1996 Betty Crocker three ring binder and it had um, that glossy finish. So I wasn't sure how the glue was going to adhere to, um, you know, the fabric was going to adhere to it. So I just sewed everything first. And also I was afraid that it may see through. You still can. That's my first disclaimer. You can still see through the fabric a little bit. Let me bring it in close so you can maybe, I don't know if you can see it, but you can faintly see um, it through there. But um, I still think it came out really nice. I really love how it came out. I'm really proud of it. So anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I just sold it first. I adhered the fabric and I adhered the pocket here. Um, like I said, a piece of my pants leg, don't worry, all the jeans are clean, and um, some lace here on the spine. I feel like I'm all over the place because I'm not explaining everything at the same time, but I'll get there. So yeah, so I wrapped the lace around and then this is the back. This thing is so heavy. So, um, and then... Let me make sure I'm in frame. I'm standing up so I don't be all crazy off. And then I added some lace here. And then this flower was made out of um, some upholstery fabric, some leftover denim. And this is uh, my friend Carmen's creation, her crocheted flower. And then I added a bread and it says sweet, beautiful, and delightful in there. So... I'm sure my camera is not properly fo focusing. Okay, can we talk about these book corners? So these book corners, <laughs> I was given to the given them in Happy Mail, and you have to put in the nails 
these tiny nails. <sighs> the struggle was real trying to get these tiny little nails in here. So, I mean, they're great, but oh my God, <laughs> it was a struggle, <laughs> but I did it. Um, the only thing is that they came through the other side and I'll show you how I, I worked that out. So anyway, let's talk about what's in here. This is, a, this is a cover of just some little tags that I got from Target. And then I just made a tag out of the paper. This is a tag I had in my stash. It says, love my life. And you can journal on the back. And then a Project Life card. So that is what's in the pocket. If I can remember how I had this in here. Probably not. Something like that. All right. So then, um, also inspired by Diane. Let me hold this like this. I did some beet dangles because when I did this, um, I used this fabric on my Chicken Little um, Golden Book. I loved how these perla beads looked with it. So I added these perla beads and some buttons. This one has a little little flower on it. I got that from um, a swap in my flow journal. So I have some buttons. This one has a little button, flower, flower button, and these have buttons. And then this one. So yeah, so I thought it was really cute. So thank you, Diane, for that inspiration. I'm going to take it off because it kind of interferes. All right, so let's finally get inside. All right, so. All right, so I um, cut some felt squares, I mean triangles. <laughs> I do know my shapes. So it would hide the, um, the nails that came through and also protect the paper and, you know, your hands so it doesn't, you know, get scratchy. So I covered the inside with some scrapbook paper. I made a big library pocket here. I am not all the way in frame. And then I just have some note cards, um, some Project Life cards for you to journal on. And then I some washi um, samples on a transparency that was left over from the book. Um, I use these washies in... Um, the journal, so I figured you might want to um, use them. So I added them in there. I left this in here. I left some of the original um, book pages in here. And then I just added some washi so it would, you know, because it was falling apart. So because of the whole True Color song, I found this on Pinterest. Um, and it just has some of the lyrics from the Cindy Lauper song. I won't. I won't read it to you, but um, I just used my punch to make a decorative edge. So I thought that was really cute to add in there. And then this is just a little card that says love one another and an altered paper clip. So this, oh my God, this was a vintage book that I have and it was really, really, really fragile. So I put it in a page protector and um, I just cut it down and added some washi. So it is open. I didn't seal it. Um, on the side there we go so you can open it at the top and take it out if you want and then here's the back isn't that so precious he's so cute and I did add a couple of Norman Rockwell um, pages in there only because Christmas is coming so I just thought I would add some in here so this has no theme I forgot to say that it has no theme it's just happiness <laughs> a lot of pretty stuff I put in a binder so that's pretty much what I did. Um, trying to make sure I stay in frame. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I did some fabric tabs. And I just kind of, you can see the last one is all the way in the back. I'll show you. Um, my sewing machine started acting up almost at the end. So I wasn't able to sew everything I wanted to sew. Like I wanted to sew the tabs on, but my sewing machine was acting up and I was just frustrated with it. So I ended up gluing everything else that I wanted to sew. But I was able to sew my pockets. So this pocket was stitched and I added some lace. 
and we have some project life cards a lot of project life cards and this is just a um vintage postcard that's embossed so thought that was cute in the colors i thought looked really cute in here like I said, I went really bright and colorful, and it's usually I'm attracted to dark vintage colors, but I don't know, this made me so happy. I fussy cut this little banner from um, the paper. Oh, so one of the paper collections I use, I use two leftover papers from the Hot Buy Paper Pad um, Conservatory, I think a couple of backyard table, and then I use this paper collection that I had called Beautiful Life by Laura Passage, and it's by Echo Park, in case you're interested. So yeah, so this paper is really bright, and um, here is one of the tabs, and I just sewed the button on, hand sewed the button onto the lace, and then glued it on. And then I added some vintage papers, and I added washi tape, because you know, they are kinda thin. And then I stamped, some of the pages, this one says, Life's Beautiful. I figure, you know, the paper collection is called Beautiful Life. I thought that was appropriate. I have some Daphne, a lot of Daphne Diary pages because they were so bright and perfect in here. So I love this page here. So it's a plain card. This is a little Polaroid that you can take out and add a photo in there. So that flips out. And you guys may recognize this. This is from my, the book that I shared um, from the thrift store. So, one of them are in here. Isn't she pretty? So, they fit this way in the binder. So, I do know that much. <laughs> um, so, here's some scraps. And then I um, die-cutted a few of the scraps so you can have. And then this is just a little die-cut. This is Life is Good. Some Ram McNally book pages I got from Selena. I think I won this in one of her lives. Um, here's some of the original pages. Let me go a little faster because I am 12 minutes in. This, I think I keep calling this um, Mary Inglebright, but I think her name is Susan Branch. And I got this from Danny. So thank you, Danny. Um, I can't remember where this from, but I just thought it was really cool. It's a little vintage um page from like a magazine or something and this is from my rose book I love those yellow roses and again I die cut it um, some of the scraps so this is a frame you can add a photo I didn't hear anything because I don't know where you want to put a photo so I just left them for you to play along play with and do your own thing and here's another vintage page should I added washi and a stamp it says capture every moment Richard scary book page these are the little things I got from Target so you'll see a few of them scattered around this is some stationery sorry about the noise that is NYC life <laughs> those are the workers outside um, this is from a um, song lyric vintage song lyric book so there's a few of these in here and this says Mary had a little song. Never heard that before, but yeah. So it has like, you know, I don't know who any of these people are, but maybe you do. So I made a belly band here and this um, is like, I just thought it was perfect because it's shaped like a ticket, but I know it's bulky. So I just put it on with a glue dot. So if it's in the way, you can just peel it off and I just added some lace underneath. And then it's just a note card and just a um, journal card from the collection. And then this is some vintage wallpaper that I got from Selena's Daily Deal. Um, and then this is one of the pages that was supposed to be a pocket, but it didn't make it because the sewing machine cranked out on me. Um, it's not cranked out. It's just acting up and I have to figure it out. So I left it for you to do your own thing on here. And this came free with the wallpaper. So I added this in here, which I really want to just hoard them all because I don't have any of these. Here's another um, pretty note card you can use. So 
feel like I'm going super slow. Some stationery. This I got in a, um, my flow journal swap. Daphne diary page. This a Project Life card and some vintage receipts and phone message thing. <laughs> it's the other tab. And this is some textured paper. I love that paper. Um, page from a rose book. It's another vintage paper with a stamp. And it says, the greatest journey is the one that brings you home. And I added some washi tape here. And then this is from the Today's Woman magazine that I have that I'm hoarding. And it has um, bathing beauties. And it's two pages because it was a two-page spread. So I have those in there. This is from Daphne's Diary Magazine. So wasn't that perfect? The colors are just like perfect. And then look at this. It's like perfect. All this color. <laughs> this is from a garden book. I can't think of the name of it. And then here's another pocket that I was able to stitch with some lace, some more Project Life cards. I pulled all my, my colorful Project Life cards. And then this is, these are stickers. Um, the paper collection on um, Beautiful Life came with stickers, so I will be sending stickers along with this as well as a bunch of leftovers and all that kind of stuff. So this is from this book I have, and it's a pop art book. Um, I should have brought it over here, but it has, um, I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, you can see her faintly behind there. And it's just like these little quotes and journaling prompts. So you can journal on here. It says, my notes. And it says, it's showtime. So, and then it has quotes here. I won't read them, so it won't take so much time. But I thought they were like really nice and bright. It says, I listen to these songs when my spirit needs a lift. So you can list songs on there. I thought those were cute to add in there. And I kept forgetting about that book. This is from Somerset Magazine. All the colors I thought were great. Another Daphne Diary. Thought you could journal in those little spots. And then this is a flip out page. Ugh. This is actually American American Craft little sticker pocket. And these are little tags from um, Martha Stewart. Okay journal on those and then these are smash little smash pads from my smash pads because I used to smash a lot and I still have my smash books and I'm determined to get back to it because I really love it and this is a Dick and Jane book page this I got in Happy Mail. I've been hoarding this because I'm not sure what the year is. I really want to scan them and print them, but um, I'm not sure what the date is on it. So I've been hoarding them, but I decided to put one of them in here. I think they're really cool. This is Edith Holden. I use June because it's my birth month. <laughs> it's transparency with um, a bunch of words on there. And as you can see, it's a fabric flip with some lace at the top. And then another one of those little Target cards. Daphne Diary page. Another page you can journal on. This is just a creative type of girl. And some washi. It's another book from my Rose book. This is a vintage science workbook, I think it is. So I thought the colors were nice in here and this is just some leftover paper a project life card i like because it has like these um film trips on there and then an altered paper clip is holding it together and here's the other tab with the button here's another page from the original book page rather and then this is from one of those vintage magazines that i can't remember the name of here's one of those Susan Branch pages. This is a negative from the frame. And I thought, oh, that's cute. You can either put a picture there or a journal. I left it open. And I just put a little sticker right here. It's a vintage bingo card. I just added a little fabric tab to dress it up a little bit. 
Somerset Magazine page. I thought the colors were was perfect. And then this is from um, my little art book page that I got for free in my book haul. And then this page reminded me of Selena, so I had to put it in here. Look at this. <laughs> Look, Selena Kool-Aid. So I had to put that in there. But it is very fragile, so I added some um, washi tape. So it'll be a little bit more secure in there. And then here's another note card. Flip out. I just paper clipped um, a little wallpaper sample. It was supposed to be a belly band, but um, I was going to stitch it. But yeah, the sewing machine. <laughs> so I leave it up to you. It's my Edith um, Holden page here. And then, oh my God, <laughs> I love this book. So I added, um, it was only supposed to be one page, but somehow I added two. So there you go. You got my favorite pages in here. And I just added this flower. I didn't hear it really, really well in case, like I said, it's bulky. But this is just a Tim Holtz dye. I used my denim and some um, burlap and my friend Carmen's crocheted flower and just a little rosette. So you can probably pull it off um, if you want to, if it gets in the way. But it's so cute. Some stationery. This is from that book that I showed you in my eBay haul. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll try to remember to link that haul video down in the description in case you want to know. Um, this is from Daphne Diary. I got this from my friend Carmen. And um, it's an envelope, and I just fold it, and I glued it, but I cut it at the bottom so there's a pocket so you can have a place to put Stuff. And there's an opening here at the top, so you can add stuff here at the top. And then inside is just, I'm not going to take everything out, just some leftover papers that you can use. Uh, this video is so long, oh my god, let me hurry up. So, this is from that um, art book that um, I got for free, and I just thought that page was just perfect because it was so colorful. And then I, you can read about the um read about it here and then here's another vintage page and then I added some um, sticky notes to this leftover transparency that I had so you can use that to journal I got this in my flow journal swap here's another page from the, that song lyric book so there's a bunch of song lyrics on here that I've never heard of but Maybe you have. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Another Richard Scary book page. This is, um, I got this from my Flowish Journal Swap. Original book page here. Um, a bag from Dollar Tree that I folded. So there's a little pocket here. It's a little double ruffle, fabric and lace ruffle. And inside, I have some of the stickers. So there's a, oops, it's a bunch of stickers in there for you to use. Okay, another um, Dick and Jane. This is from the science book. It's another Norman Rockwell. It's a note card with the um, labels and an altered paper clip with a little charm. And I had to add my favorite poo. Um, I've been blessed with so much poo stuff. People have been sending me a lot of poo stuff. So I was able to <laughs> cut into one of the books already. Um, more Daphne diary pages. You can journal on this one. And then that is a little story, and this is a little garden page. Oh my God, I forgot to, sh to share something with you. Okay, I'll go try to remember to go back. So this I got in one of my flow um, journal swaps, and I forgot to share hers. Um, I just got crazy and was put. I put everything away, but you'll see throughout, I'll share it. Um, so thank you, Sharon, for that. That is super cute. It's a paper clip. 
put a little um a bunch of little envelopes i can never make something so tiny and i did this in one of the flow journals that i sent um and i was like that's kind of cute i'm gonna do that so i just added these little square vintage i think they're vintage sheets in here and i just made a little triangle and put a little pen and i added a little sticker and i just had this clothes pen so it wouldn't fall out and here another little book page some more stationery and i love this page for my rose book it's just some roses on a chair and i love that page and then we have that one and then here's another um some more pages from that pop art book this is a list of my favorite movies this took my breath away things to do when i have some me time i like this if it's not fun it's not worth doing it's so true and another little Target page. It's another vintage page. Be yourself. Nobody does it better. You guys, look, I put another one in here. Another pinup girl. Ugh, there she is. One of my faves. Made it in this book. Can you believe it? I didn't hoard her. I'm proud of myself. This came from um, Sharon that I um, got the flowish journal from. So I thought that was perfect because it was so colorful. And then I just put a little piece of me in here. <laughs> um, this is a story, a little map of the area that I live in. It's just from one of the magazines. I just put it in here just because. Um, and here's the last fabric um, tab right here. And then this was from the Daphne Diary magazine. It's supposed to be a sticker. I haven't figured out if it's a sticker or not. But since it was kind of long, I wanted you to just put it wherever you wanted it or maybe use it someplace else. So I just left it in here. These I had in my stash and I thought these would be fun to add in your journaling. I don't know where they came from, so I'm assuming it's okay to copy them. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. What's in your cart? What's to read? What's on? So I thought those were cute. And then here's the last page of the back of the pocket my friend Carmen's pocket um this is just a flower that I added a little die cut and a brad and it just has a bunch of oh and then I have a rick rack up here just have a bunch of leftovers and some more cards in here so that is it you guys that was long <laughs> and oh I did add some lace here and then more felt here. So my last disclaimer is that um, right here, this last binder ring has a tiny little gap. And I didn't want to tell you to the end because I wanted you to see how it turns. So I don't know if you could see that. But it has a little gap in there. And I was bummed because I didn't notice it. Honestly, did not notice it until I was in the middle of doing this but as you could see it doesn't really you know I'm I'm turning all the a lot of the pages at the same time and you saw me I didn't struggle you know I didn't get caught so I thought it was fine um hopefully you think it's okay too oh but what I wanted to say is there is this page in here that um whoever gets this has to read because it is the sweetest thing ever where is it? It's that Daphne diary page here. Okay, I said that and now, <laughs> and now I'm going to have a problem. But anyway, I'll fix it in a minute. Oh my goodness. See, I said that and there we go. Okay, I said that and then it gets caught. So yeah, this one. It is so sweet, this page right here. It's so sweet. You have to... Um, you have to read that if you get this, but hopefully that's not too much of a nuisance. It wasn't until I just said it and then it became a nuisance, but, um, there, yeah, see, it's not bad. So that's it. That is my journal. I hope you guys like it. I absolutely love how it came out. Um, it will be listed in my Etsy shop probably by the time you see this video, um, I thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what you think and um, have a wonderful weekend, you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.